Welcome back. We are at Mount Pleasant, Utah. <laughs> <Ball place. laughs> and it looks like winter has finally shown up. But we are out kicking tires and we thought we would show you some super unique custom made trailers. These RVs are 100% custom, basically. Basically I, anything you want, they can try and do for you. Yeah, and they are off-grid capable. They are a boondocker's dream. These are the style of trailers that have been used for almost 100 years, and they are built to hold up and go wherever you want to go. So these unique trailers are made by Western Range Camp, and these are so customizable that they can make basically anything that you want. If you guys are liking the kicking tires segment on our show, <laughs> let us know in the comments below. Thanks, guys. These are not um, an ordinary RV by any means. These are made in the style of the old sheep camps. And it's a style that's been used for 100 years, and it has been proven to work in all sorts of conditions. And they make these things to hold up well. So I'm going to walk you around the outside and show you some of the features that make these such amazing units. Starting out right up front, the diamond plate front to help protect the whole entire rig as you go down the road. Um, the frames on these, it's a two by six frame and they are custom made frames. They have a, a company down in Las Vegas area that makes their frames for them. They're not just some high-end manufactured frame that makes them for everybody. These are 100% custom. The steps are not a typical bouncy RV step. They are a heavy welded step. It just folds up out of the way. They are made so that way you can scrape off your boots or your shoes as you go in and you're not tracking all that stuff into the unit. Coming down the side, they like to go with a white siding because it helps in the heat. It doesn't hold in so much heat and it just seems to hold up better, they said. Um, this one has a nice black stripe going down the side of it. Getting over to these storage bays, they have a bolt manufacturer that makes their doors, so they're 100% waterproof, so they aren't gonna have issues that way. And then they even put this nice gutter right above it. So, I mean, it's snowing a little bit right now, kind of raining, a lot of the water's melting off, and it's not dripping into your bay here because they have this nice custom little gutter right there. Then you have your big storage unit right here where you can put all sorts of stuff, maybe your chairs or whatever else you need for camping. I bet it would fit a camp chef or something like that. Up above the compartment, they all come pre-wired and a lot of them with solar panels already because these things are made to go out in the middle of nowhere and it's great to have the panels already put on. They have rear stabilizer jacks in the back as well um, and another compartment here. So right here, you can see their 40 gallon water tank. That's their fresh water tank. And they come built heavy enough with a two inch receiver hitch here that you can actually tow another trailer behind this or put your bike rack or even one of those racks that holds a motorcycle. And this is built to hold up to it. It even comes pre-wired with your seven pin right here. Um, places for your chains to tie down. It's just incredible how everything on this trailer is built heavy. That's their thing. Is They said, we could build a lighter trailer, but we want it to hold up and hold up well. This is not a half ton towable trailer. This requires a little bit more truck, but you're not sacrificing a lot of that stability and the quality that you get with a heavier trailer. Coming around on the driver's side, more storage. This is where your battery bay is. Lots of room for batteries. They just have two six volts in this, but if you wanna go lithium, they're, they're working on getting more lithium and that sort of stuff. Um, it's just, as we all know, lithium's expensive. Um, so they're looking for that. With all of their units, everything is plumbed and wired inside. So it's going to be easier to maintain. It's not gonna freeze out in the cold like we are today. You can take this thing out camping anytime and you don't have all the undercarriage stuff going on. Another great thing that they do is they line the whole underbelly. Well, there is really no underbelly. The bottom, the floor is lined with sheet metal. 
That way no rodents can get in. You aren't gonna get water damage from water coming up off the road and rotting underneath. That sheet metal keeps everything protected. Showing more of how they overbuild these trailers. This trailer weighs about 8,000 pounds and they could put 5,000 pound axles on this and be just fine. But instead, they throw 6,000 pound axles on it and they are capable of putting on bigger tires like that you'd run on your truck because a lot of people like to run the same size tire that way if they have to swap one out or a spare or whatever they have that option their wheel wells they make a metal wheel well that they actually weld the same place they weld get their trailer frames welded and these metal wheel wells if you happen to get a blowout are going to take that impact of the tire instead of blowing the whole side of your trailer apart like we've all seen those that that's happened to going down the freeway so just another example of how these things are are built to last right here we have they call it their wood box but more storage and it has an access point from inside the trailer and we'll talk about that one inside because that's about the coolest feature this thing has all right so that's enough of the outside let's take a look on the inside it makes these trailers so unique all right guys welcome to this trailer Let's start right here in the back of this unit, starting with this very nice hanging closet. It's the only tall storage you've got in here. And there's also a little bit of storage right here at your feet. All right, so coming into this restroom, this unit actually has a shower. Traditionally, sheep camps in the past really don't even have running water in them, so to have a running sink, toilet, and shower is a really nice feature for this trailer. It might be small, but there is a lot of storage space in here. So with this company, they are making their own showers and shower pans. The reason behind making their own shower pans is typical ones are just not holding up to this type of use. They're breaking, they're cracking, so they took it upon themselves to correct that problem and make their own. Shower size here, you can see just is about five, ten. 10. And there is lots of room, head space to yeah. actually be able to shower. And actually a little bit of walking room too. So continuing on, we've got our fridge space right here. It is probably a typical RV fridge size. Really great for the size of this unit to have this big of a fridge in it. Above more storage space. I'm actually seeing an electrical in there so you could probably stash a coffee pot or something in there. Coming into the kitchen. This is a really nice counter space for cooking, whatever need be, and great storage underneath for all your pots and pans. Also in this unit, there is pretty much a standard RV range and oven. Unique to this unit, they have a catalytic heating element versus a furnace. With these cabinets, all the woodwork is done in house, which they kind of have to, to meet the demands of the customer and what unique things they like to have. They are utilizing every little bit of wood. So this piece right here is actually the blank of this hole. And then they just did some very nice trim work to finish it out. So there is no waste to these trailers. This side of the sink, this is actually a restaurant grade sink. They have found that these hold up so much better than the typical RV sinks. As for the lower storage, these two cabinets open wide open and they have access, I'm actually seeing, to all your pipes and your water lines. If you do need to do any upgrades or fixes. As for the drawers here, there's actually ample space for utensils. These drawers are on a heavy duty roller. They like to do that to help things hold up longer 
and have an extended lifeline. One of the funnest things about their units is the wood burning stove. Now this is just a regular wood style. Um, however, we have seen styles that are a little bit bigger that you can actually bake in as well. So wood burning stoves are so nice for heat. I know this growing up with one that you just stoke up the fire and you are warm and cozy for the rest of the evening. So having one of these in here would be so nice and beneficial, especially if you're out, even if you're out right now in the snow, this will keep your unit nice and warm. These stoves are so unique that they are custom made right here in the US. So whatever style you're looking to get, they can probably make that for you. Also with these, I mentioned baking in them. Not only can you bake, but you could cook right on top of them with your, with your pan. That would eliminate having to use a lot of propane, making so that you can go off the grid a little bit more and a little bit longer. And with using your wood burning stove, you've got to have wood. So right here is access to get your wood. You can bring it in from the at exterior and use it right here from the interior, which is nice because then you're not having to bring it in from the front door and getting wood chips and bark, whatever may be. And so it's nice to have this little box right here. So showing you one of those examples of a baking oven, it would be quite an adventure to learn how to bake in this thing. This trailer is a good example of customization. They have chose the countertops, the cabinets, the cushions, whatever they wanted to do, clear down to the curtains. So this customer has a very special antique comforter that she wants to put on this bed. So that's why this trailer is a red and navy motif. So coming on back to our living and dining space, we've got our traditional booth set here. Uh, it actually breaks down into a bed. Uh, another nice thing is there is a hinge here so you can have access to more storage. And then as for our couch here, uh, nice thing about this is it has a soup box, if you will. That's what the old sheep herders call it and still call it today. So there is a little bit of storage, perfect size for a can of soup. Not only that, but it's got more storage underneath. Nice, big, open storage. And to finish out this unit, we've got our sleeping quarters here. Right here, we've got a, looks like a pretty much a standard queen. And then you've got additional loft space above. Also a little bit more space underneath the bed for more storage. There's so many configurations that they can do with beds. They can do twins, bunk bed twins, fulls. They can do a queen and a full in a pullout style as well. This is one of those examples of a queen and a double bed. This actually pulls out. So if you did need that extra space for sleeping, you've got it. So if you are tired of those mass produced RVs, check out Western Range. They can make anything customizable to what you're wanting to have. They're even making toy haulers right now in this sheep herder style. These units have been so much fun to walk through, just get a different insight of how people can get out and, and use their trailers. We just wanted to give a big thank you to Western Range Camps for allowing us to come and walk through their units. All of their information will be below, so if you do want to contact them, it will be there. And remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Thanks again for catching us today at John Junkies and always enjoy your weekend.